Hi, I'm Shauke from Legend Effects and today in this new After Effects tutorial I will show you how to give your footage this smart cartoonish effect without any plugin. Enjoy! In a new After Effects project, we'll double click on the project panel to import the footage. Here I have a footage of 13 to 14 seconds. I'll drag and drop in the composition icon to create a new composition. Let's fit the view. And after that, I'll rename this composition source. Right click composition setting and rename it source. Next, we'll drag the source composition on the composition icon to create a new composition. We call it now master. Now it's time to add the cartoon effect. To do that, you can look for the cartoon effect in effects and presets or you can right click stylize cartoon. This is the original cartoon effect, how it looks uh, on After Effects. Honestly, I can't feel it's a cartoonish effect, it's the same footage with just some strokes. For me, I want to uh, modify a little bit the settings to play on the settings. First, I'll start by the detailed radius. I'll update it 40. For the detail uh, threshold, it will be 20. For the shading uh, steps, 10. And 80 for the shading smoothness. Yeah, it's starting looking better. Maybe I have to adjust. I can inspect the footage. It looks nice, but I have to adjust a little bit the threshold for the edge. 1.5 will be nice. The width 1.5. I think that will that looks nice, uh, especially if you have a footage uh, on HD composition. Now we will go further to add a little bit of selective color. To do that, color correction, leaf color, and we we'll choose the red color. We'll update the amount 100. It's a black and white footage. After that, we'll increase the tolerance bit around 40 to 45 like that we'll have uh, more uh, like a cartoon a painted uh, cartoon here the effect we have now is way better than uh, the original cartoon effect you can see the color the selective color the coloring effect and the stroke now to go to the second uh, step, we'll duplicate the, the layer, we'll remove the cartoon and the uh, selective color and we'll isolate uh, that uh, layer, solo that layer and to add to that layer the threshold effect. In fact, we are preparing for the hatching uh, effect. We will choose um, a level, for example, around 30, depending, it's, uh, it depends on the um, the black uh, entity inside of the dark uh, entities inside the footage here maybe like a value of 30 looks uh, nice now we have to create the hatching from that uh, black and white or uh, dual color uh, footage to do that we can apply a starburst effect we'll update first to the scatter and the speed uh, both of them uh, zero to have those uh, dots and after that we update uh, the size for example, the spacing the grid spacing and the size 5 for the grid spacing and 70 for the size you can check here it looks i think nice it will be uh, nice to prepare for the the hatching effect that we will create using the directional uh, blur, blur and here we are starting uh, creating those uh, hatches. This layer now we will add an overlay mode, uh, multiply. Certainly we are starting having that nice effect. Uh, here we have a hatching uh, effect around the edges and near the dark zones of the footage we can uh, accentuate it by increasing the shading of the starburst. Now let's move for the last uh, phase. We will create an adjustment layer. On this an adjustment layer, uh, sorry, uh, we have to, yes, right click, create adjustment layer. On this adjustment layer, we'll apply um, another effect 
uh, it's the same cartoon classic cartoon effect stylized cartoon now the cartoon will take in consideration the hatching uh, effect and it will uh, increase the cartoonish look but the final step will add an unsharp mask it's around 130 and maybe uh, 2 in the radius and look at the result we have our cartoonish effect it's a smart cartoonish effect that is adapting all the footage depending on on all the footage or the kind of colors or the compositions in the background as you can see here we have a lot of cartoonish details they are nice look here for example on the face this is with the cartoon you are feel free for example to add that cartoon effect or to remove it but for me I found that adding it as a final step will increase and give it more uh, cartoonish uh, look uh, for now let's try to create uh, a paper texture it will be uh, used as a background so to create a paper texture we create a new composition the same size let's give it a solid the color is like the paper color it's an off-white and we will add to that uh, white we'll add the texture effect now we will add the thread thread effect let's decrease the width and the height to the minimum it's 3 by 3 and we'll change the direction to 45 we'll increase the texture uh, effect and now uh, we have to decrease a little bit the effect uh, of the thread as a texture of a canvas so to do that we'll create another solid plain solid with the same off-white color and we'll play on the opacity of the the texture here in the master composition we will drag and drop the paper texture composition as a background and we'll change the overlay uh, mode um, to hard light and we'll play on the opacity of the source for example between 75 to 90 maybe here I use 82 and look at the result it's a distinguished result we have here all the details if you want to play on the hatching effect to increase or decrease the hatching effect you can play on the threshold uh, level as you can see here the more uh, you increase the level the more you have more uh, hatching on the footage uh, you can render and you can find um, a big difference between the the original footage and uh, the the cartoon really it's a cartoonish effect it's a smart cartoonish effect that is adapting all the kind of uh, footage uh, if you want to see it clearly we can uh, compare uh, the original one original look and uh, the footage after the effect This is really a smart cartoonish effect that is better than the original one, uh, the CC cartoon, uh, the cartoon effect on After Effects. Here on the face especially, the treatment is uh, really amazing and you can feel the brush or the pencil uh, drawing with the touch of uh, colors. Feel free to adapt it or to change the setting to adapt your desired, uh, to reach your desired uh, look. Here maybe we can add, uh, we can add uh, something else like a text. Let's write a cartoon. We'll try to simulate like a cartoonish uh, text. Here I created uh, a text layer. I give it, for example, here a yellow color and after that I will duplicate it and I will work on the one of the text layer I'll give it a stroke maybe here I will choose a dark or a white white will be better white stroke giving it a cartoonish uh, look we'll give it a drop shadow will increase the opacity and play on the distance yes that looks nice 
now we'll work on the copy of the text and we'll choose a darker color maybe here a brown or a dark orange using the mask i will create a sort of a gradient between the two uh, colors and look now this text with the cartoon how it will look here we are reaching the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new Feel free please to leave me any question in the comment or please uh, subscribe to my channel to have more tutorials like this. Bye.